Happy Inauguration Day! What's going on guys? It's Colby, again with Colby Mag Fitness. And uh, just starting off my day at, it is two o'clock in the afternoon, I gotta take my dog Max, my boy Max, to the, uh, the vets to get his rabies shot, his annual rabies shot. Um, I just finished having my protein bagel and I just am taking some vitamins. And in case you guys are wondering what kind of vitamins or supplementation I take as a vegetarian now, uh, I mainly just went with the generic um, supplementation that I read online that vegans are very short on, which is basically just some vitamin D you're going to be short on uh, and B12. Um, and then I just supplement in fish oil just because joints and heart health. <laughs> and uh, also uh, my daily multivitamin, which I use, OptiMen. Um, just ba basic daily vitamins. So I'm going to take Max to the vet. He's a real pain in the ass when it comes to taking him anywhere. He's kind of a dick. So I'll see you guys when I get back. All right, so that went well. Anyways. Today is deadlift day. I'm gonna be working in some uh, sumo deadlifts because I haven't done sumo deadlifts in a long time. Last time I tried doing sumo deadlifts, uh, felt like they uh, suffered a little bit. Not sure why, I think it's just because I'm not used to the form. So now I'm gonna try doing uh, my deadlift workouts. It's gonna be half sumo, half conventional. Uh, conventional, still always gonna be my favorite, but maybe not, we'll see. Here's the warm up. Unfortunately, I'm not in proper uniform, but I'm about to get in. Yeah, you need to get them stretchy pants like me. Oh, I got them on. Oh. Yeah. So a lot of people might be wondering, what is the difference between a sumo and a conventional deadlift? Uh, I honestly don't know other than your legs are farther apart and your arms are located on the inside of your legs on a sumo versus the outside of your legs on a conventional. Uh, and I feel that conventional is harder to do, um, it, but I guess it's a huge battle between sumo and conventional deadlifts. Just because you're always lifting some heavy ass weight. Keep your hands, pick every toe. Woo! Right on my hand, I'm working. So I'm officially determined today that I cannot do a hybrid deadlift workout. Do sumo and conventional. I gotta practice my sumo on a different day since it's lacking so much. Today's just gonna be conventional because I've been looking forward to this day and I'm trying to hit a new PR. So, let's see if I get it. Yeah, easy! Come on! Pull it, pull it, pull it up, pull it up!
Alright guys, and I am back again with the voiceover, and this is uh, just a couple of workouts that I did that I thought would help me with my sumo deadlift. This is just a kettlebell deadlift uh, that I uh, thought up while I was just standing there, just because the sumo deadlift did not feel very strong, obviously. I got 225 easy, and I probably would have gotten 275 easy, but 315 went up uh, with a little bit of struggle so I wanted to get those muscles activated and those stabilizer muscles activated so uh, with that first workout I just did some kettlebell sumos um, bringing it all the way down to the ground resting at the bottom and then shooting up and then the same thing with this uh, this is just a hamstring stretch um, and it also got my back pretty good my lower back um, and basically the concept is that you need to bring your either your fingertips or your fists down to the ground when you put the kettlebell down grab the kettlebell and shoot back up um, as fast as you can to get that explosiveness into your lower back uh, and then coming up I end up doing some tire flips and I feel that tire flips are uh, basically the same thing as sumo deadlifts just with a tire um, and you can go a lot faster with it. You could do like I'm doing and not even flip it all the way. Just lift it up, stand it up, and then put it back down. Um, and that actually keeps your entire body activated a lot longer. Um, and it gets your cardio going. Uh, and then it'll help you burn fat faster also. So instead of doing actual deadlifts, you can just flip the tire uh, just like this. And just concentrate on that squeeze in your hamstrings and your glutes and your lower back. So that was my workout. I probably don't even enjoy my workouts anymore, but I'm still trying to mix it up with my videos only because uh, I try to make them slightly informative, not too formal um, with a little bit of funny content. But there's not really much that happens in my life, just like with uh, all the other vloggers that are on YouTube now. Uh, Casey Neistat, Max Tuning, Christian Guzman, Omar Isoff, which he really just does a lot, of, uh, a lot of instructional stuff, but I don't really have a lot going on in my life. Shama is not exciting. If I wanted to have an eclectic video collection, I would have to move into the city of New Orleans probably uh, and actually start going out. Anyways, that was my workout today. I did uh, some working sets of conventional. Um, got a, a new second place PR of 375. Uh, for one rep, and that was after um, several heavy sets and a couple of uh, higher rep ranges um, with 315. And then, toward the end, I did some sumo work and some mobility work uh, to increase my sumo just because I'm so fresh at it. Um, I haven't been practicing sumo deadlifts in like six months, I'd say, and even before that, um, I wasn't really practicing sumo at all. Now is the only time I'm really going to program it. Uh, I saw Jeremy Hamilton um, on Omar Isof's video right here. Um, and uh, he was talking about how when he plateaued, even though I'm not on his level, um, he basically kept all of his lifts around 75 to 85% um, of his one rep max. And then he would do uh, higher reps. Um, and eventually work his way up by two and a half pound plates, uh, very light weights going up. Implement it. When do you realize this is this something you've always been doing? or I think through experience, when you find out that hitting failure is just, uh, it shuts you down right away. Right. You, there's nowhere to go. Once you can't uh, progress to the next workout, like you can't add weight or uh, it feels like you have to bring the reps completely down in order to complete perfect reps. Um, you're, you're done. Man. You, yeah. need, you need to take weight off the bar and keep the bar moving fast. So, a lot of people need programs. They need a trainer to keep them on track. But uh, I feel like that advice was perfect for me. And that's exactly what's been working for me. I was doing that before uh, 
before January hit and I'm still doing that now. So I should be progressing in my deadlifts. Might be only five pounds per week, uh, but it's still progress. And that's the point of this channel is to keep making progress. If you guys liked this video, then please click the like button. If you like seeing my dog go to the vet and be tortured, then uh, please give me a like for that. Comment down below uh, if my form or my sumo can be uh, improved or if you have any tips for me. And also share this with your friends. Anyways, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna say at the close of every video. Keep making pro uh, keep making progress, guys. That's all I gotta say. Make progress. Get money. All right, bye. Oh, he is so ready for his rabies shot today. Are you ready for your rabies shot, Max? You ready? Okay, let's go. Love goes, there is also misery. It's no mi How you doing? He's, He's being a real asshole to everybody. Good boy. Hey Max, how did that go? Did it go pretty good?